I'm just amazed how much trouble I have had over the years of trying to talk to people. I've had so many people and so many different occasions where things will go wrong. The electricity goes off. The, you know, my, the, the, uh, the Skype goes off. The uh, computer dies. Um, I really feel that I'm involved in a spiritual battle and that what's happening to me has spiritual implications. I, I don't think anybody can have as many problems as I've had since I've started uh, 20, almost 30 years ago going professional with my work. Um, very interesting stuff. You know, when I first started, <clears throat> excuse me, when I first started to uh, to do this kind of work professionally in uh, 1989, uh, we we were going to, I had two or three people come in that wanted to produce uh, a series of television shows or, or at least videos on my work at that time, back in 89. And so what we did is that uh, I put together uh, a storyboard, a storyline, <clears throat> to uh, do like an hour show and uh, an hour video for television. And it was being produced professionally on Hollywood. We're talking about 89 now. And so the way we did it is uh, we would, I would write and put and, and get the uh, video, uh, I would get the uh, pictures and the text and everything ready in a storyboard for the first 10 minutes uh, of the of the video we were producing, the first ten minutes would be uh, the 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 uh, text and the pictures and documents were all lined up in a storyboard form, and so we would then take uh, the we would then lay down all of this material in sequence on something called offline editing, <clears throat> and then we would have a full ten minutes of a show done, but it's all in its rough stage. Then we would take that 10 minutes of videos, uh, materials and audio and everything we've, we've uh, put together and go to a studio in Hollywood and do what is called online uh, editing, which means it's the final finished product. And therefore, it's going to be put into, uh, it's going to be done like a, a Discovery Channel uh kind of presentation now and so it's a very expensive process and you're going to be doing 10 minutes which will take you all day and maybe two days to put the 10 minutes together but it will be top of the line class a you know, pr production so after we would go to a online studio and download all of the uh, stuff that we had done and have it put together um, professionally and correctly and it looked good then we would go back for another week or two and outline the next 10 minutes uh, with pictures and documents, etc., and uh, then go into an online studio, to go back to the studio and do the second 10 minutes, and uh, that would be done professionally. Well, we found that the first time uh, the, the company that did the first 10 minutes, two weeks later we go back to that studio to do the next 10 minutes, of my first video, and that company had gone out of business, and they had actually moved out of the building. The building was empty, and they had gone out of business. So we looked around Hollywood, because there's many of them, so we looked around Hollywood and found another uh, online studio and made the, uh, made the appointment. And so we go down there and lay down the next 10 minutes professionally. Uh, <clears throat> then we go back to do the next 10 minutes of putting it together. And then on the third time, we go back out to put the, uh, put the third 10 minutes in, and that company had gone out of business. It's gone. It's not even not even the relics of the company. It's all gone. The, the, the building is wide open. They're gone. They moved out. They went out of business the second time. So we've got another company the third time, and we downloaded the third uh, uh, rough cut to the professional. And then we went back to do the fourth time to do the next 10 minutes. And we went back to the third company, and they were out of business. Totally gone. Not even a chair in the building. Totally gone. 
So then we went back and uh, we found a new company on the fifth one, and uh, we did the same thing until we were through. And there were five companies that went out of business within two weeks of my uh, doing the little 10-minute bits. Five different production companies in Hollywood went totally out of business and moved out of the building or gone. What does that tell you? It tells me that there was some kind of a spiritual matrix in the universe watching what I was doing, and they don't want me doing it. So they would take out whoever had the power in the spirit world to take out a company, a big major production company, within two weeks, they were gone. So that tells me something, that five times, five different companies within two weeks of each other, went out of business because they did something to help me. So I am totally convinced, and that's not the only uh, phenomena that's happened because of what I do, but that's just a start. And so I've known from the very beginning that I'm up against an incredibly dark and demonic depravity, which Christians call the devil, the evil. You know, even in the Islam, they have jinns and spirits, poltergeists, devils, I don't know, all kinds of words for the spirit world. But there's no doubt in my mind that I have offended someone in the spirit world with what I'm doing, and it is now a fight for my life. Well, I've been for the past at least 30 years struggling to do what I want to do, to do this educational work, and in the process, been nothing but trouble and problems that are absolutely outrageous. People coming in, patting me on the back, and, oh, I just love what you're doing. I want to help you. And I, needing help, I'm an old man that's trying to do something, and I need help. So I, I thank them, and thank you for coming in to help me. And then after I, uh, after doing business with them for a couple of weeks or a month, I begin to find out that they have lied to me. They, they've tricked me and, uh, they, they are, you know, behind my back. They have copyrighted all of my work behind my back and, uh, and, and then uh, redirected my bank account from the, from the, from the, uh, website to their own bank account. They've stolen, lied, tricked, deceived and ripped off an old man trying to do something. That's what I've been living with since 1980s, the mid-1980s is when it started. So I've always known that I'm up against the dark force in the universe by myself, 75 years old, and it's true. I've been bouncing around for some 30 years in people's homes, living from one day from one, one house to another, uh, because I don't have a home. I've been homeless for almost 30 years now. So I'm homeless and I have nothing. And so I, but I understand why. It's because I'm involved in something very important, waking the human race up to the demonic depravity that now has, has gripped the world by its throat and is killing the human race. I've been knowing about that for a long time. I've been talking about that since 1962. So I've been very well aware of how the dark forces of this world work. I don't know what got me into it. I don't know how in the world I really got started. It's just something, I guess, that was given to me to do. And um, I know that I'm uh, that these things which are happening to keep me from doing it uh, professionally the way I want to do it, the way it needs to be done, because I have an extraordinary amount of information never been given out to anyone. But I do know and I do believe that there's someone in the, in the spirit world who knows what I have and who is not happy seeing me alive and doing my work. And so, uh, I just have to put up with what I, you know, what I have to do endure. And mostly it's because of people who come in to say they want to be my friend and end up stealing everything from me and leaving me with nothing. But I will tell you one thing for sure, that the whole world is lying in ignorance and ill-informed stupidity. 
They have no idea in the world what's really going on on this earth. And if you do, you need to keep your mouth shut. I've been told by people in government. I've been told by uh, officials in government, you need to keep your mouth shut. And the reason why is because I know who these people are. I know because I've been there. I know who they are, what they're doing. I know how the world really works. I know how this government really works. And I know how desperately evil it really is. You have no idea in the world how desperately demonic and depravity we have over us in America today. So if there is a devil, we've got it. 